And yeah, let's cut it out. What's going on everybody? Young Project back at it again with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little different. We got a little bit of handyman work right here. So basically today we'll be fixing my grandma's hole in the wall. Had a little bit of a hole in the wall and you know, it's my first time doing drywall like repairs. I've installed drywall before, you know, a couple of times, but today we're learning as well and we're trying to help y'all learn too. It's pretty simple though. Seen a little video on it, you know? So, so yeah, come on, do what we need, man. So first things first, you wanna take out the excess, all the excess, you know, the broken pieces. You wanna find a wood so you can screw your drywall in, you know, two by four right there, a beam, and another one right here. You wanna leave like a little bit of a gap, you know, I'm not sure how big the gap is, but you know, a little bit as you get a screw in there, you know? Definitely want it solid. Might need to cut a little more, but that might be good. And then you wanna straighten it out too, you know, so you get a good, good cut. You know, I lined it up already, and you got started with it, so. Yeah, so right here, we got a new piece. You just need to measure that, put it on here, draw it out, and we'll measure it, and we'll cut that. And that's gonna install there. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's cut this out. Step number one, clear it out, line it up, so it's like a perfect square. Step number two, we're gonna draw it out, measure the square, and draw it out. Step number two, you wanna measure, measure the box width, you know, horizontal and vertical. You measure it out so you get a good cutout piece. Try to do it exact and then cut it out. You know, it might leave a little gap, you know, so you can put some of the, I'm not sure you should call this stucco or plaster. It'll fill the gap, so it'll be perfect. So right here we got horizontal, 12 inches, three quarters. So vertical, we got 13 inches and a quarter. So trace that on here and we'll cut us a little square out, you know, and yeah. Cut it out. All right, all right, cool. So we got it drawn out, you know. Horizontal, we got 12 and three quarters. Vertically, we got 13 inches and a quarter. So that's definitely on the back side. The white, the white side's the other side, cause that's gonna be, you know, white on the front. But we're gonna cover it anyway. So drew it out. Just need to cut right on the lines, you know. Give it a good cut and probably trim around that. To get the perfect fit. So yeah, let's get to cutting. Right here we got a drywall cutter. Shout out granddad, you know, for the tools. So perfect, let's get cutting. Special step, you gotta have the right PPE, personal protective equipment. You gotta have the right, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have the mask, you know? So when you're cutting, you gotta have that mask on cause you don't want them fumes or that dust fumes in you, that drywall and glasses. You don't want that stuff in your eyes, you know what I'm saying? So definitely have the right PPE cause it's for your safety and I always wanna be safe, man. Let's go, let's get to work. They're getting dusty too, man. Y'all are getting dusty too, man. All right, y'all. So the piece is cut. Had to trim it down a bit, a bit, lot, a lot of bit. I also had to trim this down so it could fit, you know. So now it fits pretty. So now it fits pretty secure, you know. It's not the best, but you know what I mean. It's pretty good. I'm just a little worried about this part, you know, because if I have it flushed up like that, can I get a screw in there from this not? You know, I don't know if I could go sideways with the screw, so I honestly might have to open this up a bit. Yeah, because if I try to get a screw in there, I don't know if it's going to hold. Right here is pretty good. It's solid, you know. That'll hold right in the middle. But this one's a little on the edge, so I'm going to try to... I, kinda, I do have a little bit of room to scoot it, you know. See? Got a little bit of room to scoot it over, so this, guy, this guy's flush, but we'll still see what we could do, you know, to get us more secure screw on that wood so yeah let's, let's see what we could do all right so i attempted it right here you know this top one broke it was a little too far but this one seemed to go in pretty solid into the front to the back so perfect that's what we're gonna do i think we're good we're just gonna slap it on screw it in step three put it on screw it in through the edges and make sure it's secure so let's do that Hey, I'm gonna be real, I didn't even think about this. The two by four is right here. I gotta get right here in the center, but this thing's in the way, dude. How am I? I might have to go sideways on this one. I don't think that's ideal. I didn't bring the right tool and go to do a curved one, but dang it. 
I didn't realize that, but it's alright. I think we're going to have to go sideways on this one. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah, we'll try it. Got these in, though. I mean, they're pretty good, so. Probably add one more just because, just but we're going to try this side first. So, let's see. Just like that. Put them in sideways. A little bit of light. Put them in sideways, but I put them pretty flush. Can't really, can't feel the screw too much, you know? Screws are in there. Let me get this one in there a bit. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to break it, but other than that, this is flush. A little bit flush, you know, because it's a little thicker. A little bit of a thicker piece, but um, other than that, that's, that's on there. On there if you ask me. All right, step four. Tape. We want to tape these edges. And we're gonna go through with the, the plaster, or however you call it, I'm not sure what you call it, but put the joints together, so yeah. We're gonna get that out, let's go. It's all good though, got a little bit of light, but basically, got the tape on. You know what I'm saying, even on the screws, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I did anyway, you know, just to give it some flush, you know. You can see it's been sped done right here too. Got the mesh tape in there, put the plaster on, but yeah. Let's do it. Now we gotta get the plaster stuff out. Joint compound. Never used this before, but we're gonna, we gonna find a video on how to use it, so. And we got our scraper. Perfect. We'll scrape that whole thing with that stuff, so. Yeah, this is what, step five? No, four. Oh, come on. All right, that concludes it. Put the plaster on. Just need to come back and sand it. And that'll look brand new. Look like that. How's the lighting quality on that? Alright, that concludes this little video. Basically, it was just a tutorial on how to fix a hole in the wall. You know, if you get mad, you know, put a hole in the wall, you know how to fix it. So, yeah, I hope y'all learned something, man. That was my first time doing that. I put up drywall, but I've never repatched a hole. So, it's a learning experience. Granddad knew how to do it, asked him some questions, gave me some advice. So, took it all and put it to work, and boom, we got it done. Just need to go to go over there tomorrow. Go um, go sand it down, and then because when it when it's dry, sand it down and be good as new. I'll show you all it tomorrow, man, for sure. But I had a lot of fun making that or doing that, and then making a video on it. Definitely great content, you know. Trying to pump some more content out. Yeah, finna keep posting, man. It's fun. Enjoy it a lot. Hope y'all enjoy it too, man. It's a journey. Shout out y'all, man. Thanks for supporting, watching these. You know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. You know the deal. I'm tired. I need to get inside. Got some pizza right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> le, le, le. <laughs> These foods is funny. But yeah, definitely got some pizza right here. Might might chomp on it. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you on the next video, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Peace out. Take care of y'all. God bless.